the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Tonight, it's our first Monday night game of the new season, and we've got a good one coming up, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Tennessee Titans. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. second and two well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now second and short what do you think early shot here I like where you're going obviously we've been together for a while because you know me I want to take that shot early and loosen things up and forget about finding a lane he barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield they'll wind up losing three and now it's third down we all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. You know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say, play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Stroud looking to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator, and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Stroud sets up the play action. He's got it to Collins complete. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Houston. Nico Collins, 62 yards. And the Texans are on the board here first in the season opener. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. Start the drive, escaping the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. That one covers 29 yards, first down. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Back to throw now on first down. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. 
Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Sheds off the tackle. And he's taken down inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Down to about the 22 here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Swinging this out for Pauly. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards there on a first down. They're going to look to throw. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. A give to Pollard, running left. And all this Texans defense, they're all charged up now. They stop him behind the line for the second straight play. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. They went with the run-pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. They're able to convert with a gain of four. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. yourself so they worked the ball down the field took their time and finished with the touchdown run extra point by Butker is on target and we are tied at seven each team's had it each team has scored seven seven here is the kicks away taken at the goal line and good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Come on, come Houston's on. offense already at the line, set to get going. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I should like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as Yeah, to the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amani Hooker, and he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. Let's go, 
Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Shifts past him at the 45. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. From the 43, it's second and three. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. him get that wide open. That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. Here's second and ten. They'll drop to throw. That's dumped off to Pollard. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. They'll look to throw again. Second back right around the 30. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. So the completion results there in nine yards. And third and eight now. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. First NFL reception goes for six. And the Titans have taken the lead. Good throw there. And I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason. And what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and five. Draft 50. Draft 50. 
70 Rangers, 70 Rangers. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. But guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Here now, third and a yard. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Here we go, here we go. Let's go. Play action. Stroud now. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Stroud to throw it. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here goes Stroud again. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Hey, check that, check that, street, street. Ready. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's gonna be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Now Tennessee gonna use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Back to throw. He finds his man, Pollard. Down the right sideline. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 71 yards. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he rifles one incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain.
He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he comes back with one complete. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Well, it looks like they'll move things around here. Brings up third and five. Back to throw again. Able to find the open man. That's complete. That's a Titans touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown in the final seconds of the first half. And the Titans have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by Buckle is on target. And the lead is now 21-14. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. On the ready. Final play of the half, Stroud. He'll let this go deep for Collins. And incomplete on the deep ball. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. There he goes, right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. to throw now on first down. He's got it with the 15. Touchdown, Titans. Coleman Ross St. Brown. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Titans come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now... Oh, wide open, complete! And he is out of bounds inside the 35 they give him a gain of 38 and what great recognition between a receiver and his quarterback because he's going to recognize the trouble and then he has two options cut off the route and come back to help or head straight down the field and he chooses the latter and it turns into a huge play they'll let this go for the end zone and it is caught 
Touchdown, Texans! A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Texans have cut it back within a score. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And they're within seven now at 28-21. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. They'll look to throw. Throw left side. There's London. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Now third down and seven. Now they'll change things up. the gun now on third down. The kidder here, it's complete. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up fourth down. this they'll change it at the line they'll set up to throw and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over the Titans try it but ultimately they fail on fourth down and this Texans defense stands tall
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Play action. Here's Stroud. Eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Stroud. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Stroud on third down now. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. Stroud and company going for it. That is caught. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Second and seven. He ran it last time. Now Stroud will throw it. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Looked like both sides were anticipating okay, a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. Stroud looking to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And that offense trying to erase that deficit, get a little bit closer here and climb back into this game in the third quarter. Instead, they further their disadvantage, Charles, with a pick six. And that defense came out willing to do anything necessary to defend that lead. I think they looked around the huddle and said, who's going to make the big play? Who's it going to be? And the person just ended up in the end zone with the football, he was the one that answered the bell. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better 
that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 30. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Stroud working out of the gun. Flushed out right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. From the 21, here's the second and eight. Here's Stroud. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Titans are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Well, time, I mean, certainly not on their side offensively. They had to take some chances, but that interception will further hinder their already slim chance at victory. Yeah, and you're talking about time not on their side, but it certainly is on the defense's side, and they understood that. They knew they had to press it a little bit, and they planned accordingly, and what a benefit for them, able to pick that one off and hopefully put this game away. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. Daniil Hunter now with his second sack here on opening night. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays? Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. A big play there. 61 yards. And the Titans are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Texans 21. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Stroud sets up the play action. He's got it to Collins complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A gain of 29 yards. First down, Houston. Cut. 
And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. That is caught by Dell. Touchdown, Houston. Take Dell, 36 yards. And the Texans have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Pollard to return from the end zone. Breaks through the contact. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, 21 yards. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Option play. Here's Pollard. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got his target. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. And it's a Titans touchdown. Drake London, 55 yards. And the Titans are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Let's go now. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Play action. Stroud now. Rolling to his right. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player on the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Throwing again is Stroud. That's caught left side by the tight end, Jordan. Touchdown, Texans! Brevin Jordan, 30 yards! And the Texans are able to cut into that deficit. 
Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Titans are going to recover the football. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. First down, he'll drop to throw. And his throw is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. And now an audible here into something else. Looks like he'll throw here. That's dumped off to Pollard. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Pollard gets it off the option. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. They're going to look to throw. And this one is incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll set up a throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to pick up the Titans' first down, and he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. Back to throw. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Uh -huh. 
They'll run left with Pollard. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Touchdown! Tony Pollard. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Titans have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Texans 35. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Well, partner, that'll do it. You know, these week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And, partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start, 